Hey guys, to so the left field position for the New York Yankees. That competition is getting freaking spicy to a point where we might not have to trade for somebody, at least this spring. We could go into the season with one of these guys as our left fielder because so far they are playing really good. Now there's five guys who are playing really good. And you could bring up Billy McKinney as a potential man for the job, but he's hitting like 150 this spring. Same with Festivon Floreal. So those two guys are probably out. And that's really sad about Floreal too. I was really rooting for him and hoping that he would have a big spring and he's just not doing that. I believe he's two for 12. Same with McKinney. But there are five guys who are having really good springs so before we get into that though do me a favor guys if you love the yankees and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with the latest in the yankee news speculation rumors or just simple discussion so listen let's bring up the five let's start with aaron hicks aaron hicks last year he put a bad taste in our mouth right as yankee fans the lack of hustle at times the lack of production striking out a bunch but the one thing that hicks did well was walk but for a lot of people, that's just not enough. And it isn't enough, especially when there are other guys with more potent bats that could produce a bit better than Mr. Aaron Hicks. So Hicks, we're paying him the money. That's why he has this opportunity to be the potential left fielder for the New York Yankees. But with how these other guys are playing... I'm not too sure he's going to win that job, and it will be interesting to see if he would be the fourth or fifth outfielder for the Yankees at that point. We shall see what the heck happens. But let's talk about the guys that were signed to minor league deals. Let's bring up Willie Calhoun. Mr. Calhoun, so far this spring, is 6'4'11", so that comes out to a 545 batting average. He has a home run, a 615 on base percentage, with over 1,500 OPS. There's another guy, Rafael Ortega, who's also having a good spring. Only three for eight so far, though. Two home runs, five RBIs, 375 batting average, 500 on base percentage, with an 1875 OPS. This is a dude... You could go back to 2021, ha had a productive year, 11 home runs and over an 800 OPS. Left-handed bat. Same with Calhoun, a left-handed bat. And Calhoun, don't forget, last season in his 22 games up at the major leagues, he was atrocious. I believe he had a 150 batting average. So for him to be having a good spring, that's great. But for Ortega... His last good season was just two years ago. Last year, he just had an under 700 OPS. So maybe, just maybe, we could squeeze out that 2021 Rafael Ortega and he could bring that production to the Bronx. That would be fantastic. So Ortega so far having a good start to his spring. Then let's talk about Oswaldo Cabrera, our Swiss Army Knife, a guy who could play anywhere. Last season, he played first base, second base, third base, shortstop, left field, right field. The kick could play anywhere and that's a very important player to have on your team but he's also making a case where he should be an everyday left fielder for the Yankees he's five for 17 now he's taking a lot of at bats five for 17 two home runs seven RBIs 294 average 333 on base 980 OPS and last season we know what he did with the Yankees a 741 OPS six home runs 19 RBIs I think this kid Regardless, if he doesn't win left field or they don't choose him to be the left fielder, he's still going to play 130, 140 games simply because he can play anywhere on the diamond for the Yankees. So Cabrera, regardless, I think he's going to hit you 25 dingers this season. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments on that. And then the dark horse and all this, a guy that I... <laughs> I'm thrilled that he's having this great of a spring so far, but... He only took, he had a limited amount of that bats in double A last season. And yeah, I'm talking about Jason Dominguez. Named after Jason Giambi, by the way. Jason Dominguez, 5 for 12 so far this spring. Two home runs, four RBIs, 417 average, 500 on base percentage with, the, with a 1400 OPS. Most likely he won't win the job, but he's been fun to watch so far this spring. Especially with that game winning home run he had as well. My gosh, potent bat. He could hit from both sides of the plate and he could hit um, from both sides of the plate. Well, great plate coverage. The kid has it all. And honestly, it's been fun, but I don't think he's close yet. Not yet. Maybe next season. 
just not right now. Just let him marinate down there in double A and maybe even in triple A and we'll see what the heck happens. But those are my guys, five potential left field candidates for the New York Yankees and they're so far they're playing really really good so who's the favorite you guys let me know down in the comments thank you so much for watching we have channel memberships in the description if that interests you thank you guys this is Joan until next time signing out